one of the most critical uh, proposed amendments in this year's budget is amendment to section 16 whereby a condition has been introduced to say that credit will not be available to the extent it is restricted under section 38. Now as you would remember that in the last year's budget section 16 was amended to introduce a condition to say that if the details of uh, if the outward returns are not filed by the supplier and the details of it are not communicated to the recipient then the credit would not be available to the recipient. Uh, the amendment which was uh, proposed in the last year's budget of 2021 got notified on January 2022. Uh, clearly the intent was to bring substantive provisions uh, in the law whereby the government could uh, ask the recipient to reverse such credit. Now while, while you know the issue was with respect to the, G, the invoices being reported by the supplier uh, and the communication of details, uh, the provisions which have got introduced there and there, which is your uh, section 38 which, which, which is proposed to be introduced. Uh, so section 38 is nothing but uh, your annexure 2B and the details which needs to be incorporated in annexure 2B. Section 38 does not merely only talk about communication of details but it also lays down certain additional conditions whereby the recipient would not be entitled to take credit and therefore this new amendment under section 16. Now if you see some of those conditions uh, under section 38, you know those are conditions which relates to a non-compliance by the supplier. So for example, you know one of the conditions is that if the supplier is a regular defaulter in the payment of tax, then you know the recipient may be denied credit. Another thing is to say that if I have obtained a uh, you know a fresh registration then the credit may be denied for a certain period of time. Uh, there are other such similar clauses which sort of relate to the defaulter of the supplier. So one of the conditions is that if the supplier if the you know the difference in liability between a GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B exceeds the prescribed percentage. The, the important question is you know while all of these provisions uh, you know speak about as may be prescribed the, the key issue is how would a recipient come to know about the default of the supplier. So whether uh, the supplier is a regular defaulter or not, you know whether the difference in the tax liability between a GSTR 1 and a GSTR 3B of the supplier exceeds a particular prescribed percentage, you know whether the supplier has paid tax or not. You know this, this could actually lead to you know issues in terms of challenge to the provisions of section 16 where somebody could argue to say that ki, where the recipient does not have the ability to either control the default of the supplier or does not have the ability to even have an understanding or knowledge of the fact that the supplier has defaulted and because there is an annexure to be and the credit is appearing in annexure to be has gone ahead and taken credit then would it be right for the recipient to you know would it be right that the credit shall be restricted under section 38. Now in addition to this you know there is also an introduction of section 41 which prescribes for levy of interest. Now what section 41 says is that the credit can be taken on the basis of self-assessment and uh, you know as per the subject to certain restrictions and conditions and one of such restrictions and conditions is section 16. However, if the supplier has not paid the tax then the credit is required to be reversed along with interest. Now again you know the issue which sort of comes up is and one of the conditions uh, which this uh, condition of payment is also incorporated under section 16. Uh, again the question comes up is how would a recipient come to know whether the supplier has paid the tax in 3B or not because annexure 2B gets created by way of a GSTR 1. You know what, what needs to be sort of understood is that once a provision has been made to treat difference in GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B as a self-assessment tax, such tax actually should be recovered from the supplier and ought not to be recovered from the recipient. So the government should clearly relook at all of these provisions and, and you know sort of make a make an amendment to say that ki once the supplier reports the invoice and the invoice appears in GSTR 2B, uh, sorry annexure 2B of the recipient, then that, that condition is sacrosanct in as far as the credit is concerned. Now if there is a default in the payment of or either in the reporting of invoice or you know of the filing or the payment of tax by the supplier, the recovery should <coughs> be the recovery should be made from the supplier and not from the recipient because that is a self-assessment tax 
and also the recovery provisions have been made applicable to such self assessment tax there is there is a need to relook at uh, section 16 in the manner in which it is proposed to be amended thank you